Good morning, and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. My name is Jack, and today on the channel, we're going to be talking about the Wolfridge Bagging Station. Stick around. So we actually picked this Wolfridge Bagging Station up in Indiana uh, about a month ago. And I was talking to Matt from Lily's Farm and Firewood, and he really likes this thing. And he suggested that I get one and add bundles to our stand, or bags, I'm sorry. He suggested that we add bags to our stand. So I did. I called Wolfridge, and I talked to Bob Nelson. And I asked him if he would be able to throw this on their truck that was coming to Indiana. And he said, yeah, of course. You know, and that saved me a little bit of shipping. Uh, Wolfridge ships these via FedEx ground. So you'd have to check online, you know, put this in your cart. And I believe the shipping will calculate then and let you know what it would actually be to your location. But you can also check out the dealers. Wolfridge has several dealers across the country that stock a lot of their products. So if you have a dealer close to you, you could also have this shipped to the dealer and save a little bit on freight costs for yourself. Currently, this thing is listed at $650, which is, it's a little steep. However, it comes with 100 bags, and if you sell 100 bags at $7, you just made $700. So you just paid for this and potentially the shipping. I don't think shipping on this would be more than 50 bucks anywhere in the country. Don't quote me on that, but I don't think it's that heavy that it would be, you know, that crazy of a shipping cost. And if you do like me and you offer a discount if you buy more than one bundle, uh, we sell our bundles right now currently for $7 for one or three for 20. Even if you were to sell all 100 bags for the three for 20 special, that would still be $666. So you'd still walk away in the plus, maybe less shipping, uh, but it's still a good deal. And these bags, you could, you could again, I believe you could purchase these from Wolfridge if you called them, if you need them. But there's plenty of other places online that you could find these bags. Uh, Northern Woodsman is one of them. And there's Globe Bag. There, there's all kinds of different places that you can uh, get these bags from. But this thing is uh, super easy. I'm kind of set up on level here. But uh, bags is something I've wanted to get into. It's something I've wanted to try here lately. Um, you know, I'm not going to stop doing the bundles, but you know, why not offer several things to the customers that stop through here? And I am going to tie these things, and I will end up putting a bag return on my stand. And then for me moving them around, I'm just going to throw them on here for now. But this is just another cool way for me to add some variety at the stand. Uh, I don't know, maybe people will like bags better than bundles. I know Jeremiah from Outdoors in the 608 says that uh, his bags have actually been doing very good over his versus his bundles. So it's just something we're trying out. And I can say this is easier. I did raise this thing up. You see, I raised it up a good bit. This was all the way down at the bottom of this post, but I'm kind of tall. And when I dump the bag, it's nice to be able to dump it and be able to, you know, just set it right on the little working platform here. I actually think that these bags here are a little bit bigger than what I was giving in my uh, original bundles, which is okay. Um, we do got plenty of wood. I also got the 0.75 cubic foot uh, barrel as well. Um, I'm going to start making some Kinland bags just because, you know, I do make a lot of slash off of my uh, machine and I may as well utilize that Kinland and put it to good use. 
I don't think that I'm gonna sell a ton of it, but if we sell some, you know, it's better than nothing. I don't even think I'm going to tie those in a loop. I'm just gonna kind of tie them once and set them on there. But if you also buy one of these and you are going to one of the shows locally, um, depending on the space on the trailer and truck that Wolfridge is pulling to the shows, you could do like me and you could pick one of these up at the show and save freight charges. super easy I actually like this uh, a little bit more than the bundles you don't have to be so precise with what you're putting in this thing because no matter what it's gonna be in the bag Whoops. See, I still haven't figured this thing out yet. Now I do still have to streamline this process. This is the first time I've ever used the bagging station. And so far my initial thoughts are, this is way easier than dealing with the Amish made bundler. Not that that's a bad product. It makes a nice looking bundle but dealing with this here, you know, I just threw a couple pieces in there. I'm gonna put a bag over top of this. I'm gonna flip it over. And then add a piece in there, you know, just so we don't have saggy bags. And tie a knot in this thing and we're done. I think, uh, I really do think bags might be the way to go for me from here on out. We will see though. We'll see what I, uh, you know, I did, I still have a bunch of stretch wrap left. Um, and again, it, it all depends on what people want. You know, if I start selling more of these, maybe we'll make more of these. If uh, the plastic wrap bundles keep selling good, you know, we'll continue making those. But we'll find a use for both of these for sure. But if you're interested in any of this stuff, you can check this stuff out at wolfridgemfg.com. Or if you're on social media, you can reach out to Bob Nelson. Really good dude, super guy. Um, you know, Bob recently went over to Wolfridge and I, I think he's doing great, you know. Bob really, Bob, Bob's a good dude. Bob's great at marketing and he's, uh, He's just, he, he's all about social media. And I think for a little bit there, and I don't mean this negatively, so please don't take this negatively anybody. I think Wolfridge was lacking a little bit in the social media aspect. And I think Bob has filled that gap as well as helped increase some sales for them. Um, you know, they are a good US manufactured, uh, you know, company. And for those that like to support American-made stuff, you know, by all means, it's, uh, you know, buy what makes you happy. Well, I have to say, this uh, Wolfridge bagging station is about as simple as simple gets. Um, I've made nine bundles in like 12 minutes, and I'm sure I could do it faster if I wasn't sitting here moving a camera around. Um, I've got a little bit left. You know, I've probably bagged up, you know, half of what I brought over here. And the only reason I'm doing it right here is because it's the only little bit of shade I've got right now. I'm probably going to end up moving the station over towards my wood piles. 
and then just throwing them in my truck and carting them over here or uh, you know moving moving them however I can maybe with a loader bucket or something um, and then you know storing them in my shed until they can go to the stand uh, this year you know bundles have been doing good in the stand I'm getting ready to approach a couple stores nearby and see if I can offer them bundles or bags and see if they're interested and you know I'll, I'll do it at a you know a wholesale price if they buy a bunch of them but we'll see what happens but that's all I got for you this week guys uh, the Wolfridge bagging station WolfridgeMFG.com or message Bob Nelson to talk to him I mean you're still gonna have to go to the website and uh, place your order no matter what but uh, great guys to work with great company um, you know I got the pleasure of meeting mr. Wolf as well Chris at the uh, Who's your firewood hysteria? And uh, he's a cool dude, man. Um, but yeah, check them out. Message Bob, message Chris, email the company. Just buy the thing. I, I would. Um, you know, I'm about making life easier. And I definitely say this thing right here uh, is going to make life easier. You also don't have to be as critical to the pieces that you're putting in the bagging station, they can have a few knots in them. It can be a little twisty. It doesn't have to be like perfect straight square stuff that I like to make my wrapped bundles with. But yeah, I uh, I, I appreciate uh, Wolfridge bringing this out to me at the show and saving me on some shipping. That's all I got though. You guys uh, have a great day. Take care of each other and I'll see you back here next Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>